India lives in villages were the golden words of Mahatma Gandhi many decades ago the words stand true even after more than half a century has passed though there is substantial migration from rural to urban areas in India still almost 70% of India continues to live in rural areas rural India though economically poor flourishes with traditional knowledge and the milk of kindness I have stumbled upon countless avenues when the villagers have displayed their potential to grasp and apply knowledge. Their humility and creativity has made me ponder that education should help empathize with another human being and alleviate his or her problems. My goal is to create rural entrepreneurs and design sustainable ecosystems. I aspire to experience the urban crowd, the richness of Indian villages and make them aware of the persistent social issues. It is with this mission that I've started up Rural Caravan, a profitable social venture dedicated to make rural development a reality. Walking on this road, I realized the destination I aim to reach was this journey. I always dreamt to be in a world that resonates peace, harmony, care, affection, love, and empathy amle was no different from that a small hamlet in the state of maharashtra the western region of india amle was just a few miles away from a major city of the state but yet so far the beauty of this place is not only in its land and the surroundings but also the people During the pursuit to identify our first village to associate, Amle was an obvious choice. We interacted and discussed with the members of the village and shared with them our idea of development of village after identifying their strengths. One of the identified avenues for additional livelihood was tourism. With their consent, we started working towards capacity building of the team and minor necessary infrastructure development. Our idea of livelihood generation targets drudgery reduction effective resource utilization market for surplus production and social intervention to provide the opportunity for social intervention we conducted couple of pilot trips for a few city based social clubs as a trial to understand the villagers capability to execute trips the results were positive and promising The villagers displayed immense understanding in utilizing resources and selling village products and used the opportunity as a platform to communicate and provide the visitors a taste of their culture. During the dry summer season, the villagers were given training in livelihood generation through drudgery reduction and market linkages. Indian rural households even today use the age-old technology of chula for cooking. This contributes to several health issues in women, higher wood consumption and blackening of houses. Many a times it is observed that women related issues are not considered priorities and tend to get ignored however severe they be. We conducted health checkups of women to understand the problems they face while cooking on chulas. To our surprise, we identified over 60% of the women had difficulty to breathe and a few with severe problems hence as part of drudgery reduction we executed the improved cook stuff dissemination program and it has now not only created jobs for the villagers but also helped to solve one of the age old problems in rural households indoor air pollution we intend to do another checkup in a near time to understand the changes that were observed after this implementation The vision of Rural Caravan is to make rural development into a profitable enterprise adding value to all the stakeholders involved in the process. Rural development will become a reality only when appropriate interventions designed in the field will be bolstered with the simultaneous awareness and sensitization of the urban masses regarding rural strengths and issues. The impact we created so far was just with our association with one village. With more villages being part of the idea, the impact we envision will redefine rural development.